If you're like me, when it comes to your charting, you're all about efficiency. You've got a lot to think about on the charts. You've got a lot to think about in the markets. You don't want to be fumbling around with tools and settings trying to figure out how to get the data that you need. So today, we're showing you one of my favorite little hidden gems, one of those resources on our charting platforms that gives you access to the information you need right there. It is a workflow booster, going to really take your charting to the next level, help you measure in multiple directions, help you track support and resistance levels, and help you see percentage changes and bar counts right there on the chart. If you're not using this tool, you're going to be using it by the end of the show. I promise you that. We've got a lot to cover. It's all new. It's all here. It's Stock Charts in Focus. What is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me here on Stock Charts in Focus. My name is Grayson Rose, author of Trading for Dummies and Director of Operations at StockCharts.com. Great, as always, to be sitting down with you again today to talk about the markets, talk about trading and investing, and using some of these tools that we have available on StockCharts.com. Now, as I mentioned, I'm all about efficiency. I want to know what I need to know as quickly as I possibly can. And the tool that we're showing off today, that's going to be our inspect tool for those different charting workbenches. It's really designed to give you access to the information that you need as quickly as possible. These are those little crosshairs that float around your chart with your cursor. Uh, and it's absolutely a total, total must use on the, uh, on the charting workbenches. I've been using this for a long time. It is a very, very helpful way to see exact points on your charts and most importantly, track support and resistance levels. One of my favorite ways to use this tool. But the exciting part about it too is that there's actually more built into these tools than you might first know. Uh, so we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. These tools are actually interactive. You can drag in multiple directions and actually measure things on the charts. That's gonna be percentage changes. You can actually see data in there and you can measure bar counts simply by clicking and dragging around the chart exactly where you need to. So we're gonna show you how these tools work, show you how easy they are to use. And I think it's gonna take your charting to the next level. This is one of those things I love to show people because when they see it, they go, that's it. I'm using that from here on out. New favorite. So we got a lot to cover. Let's jump over to the site and get it going. So we're going to start here on the Sharp Charts Workbench. Now, this is our new workbench, of course, rolled out earlier this year. Lots and lots of exciting things down here. New tabs, new data, tons and tons of things. We've been highlighting different corners of this uh, this new workbench uh, over the uh, the last few months with this show. Today, again, we're talking about the Inspect Tool, one of those little things that you might have glossed over if you're new to Stock Charts. But after I show it to you, I think that you are going to be a hooked on user of this tool. So when I hover over this chart, as you can see, I got my cursor moving around it right with that green circle. Nothing is happening. I'm just kind of looking at that chart as it stands. There's a little checkbox up here at the very top of the page, though, that says inspect. And in parentheses, it says crosshairs. Now, if you hover over this, that's going to kind of give it away. Uh, but this is a great way to learn about what the inspect tool does. This is going to turn on those horizontal and vertical crosshairs, if you will, that actually give you a lot more data about different parts of the chart. As you're going to see, they also let you click and drag in multiple directions to measure things on your chart. This is a fantastic tool, something that I absolutely love. Uh, it's also incredibly easy to turn on and off. So to turn it on, to get those crosshairs, you're just going to click that box. And now you can see that when I hover over different parts of this chart, the inspector is actually going to follow me around. So I've now got that vertical and horizontal line giving me more data about different parts of this chart. So it's going to tell you with the vertical line exactly where you are on the chart. It's going to tell you exactly what date you are hovering over. This is a daily chart. So in this case, every single bar that I hover over is going to be worth one day of time. Uh, the uh, horizontal line is going to tell me the price level that I'm at or for any of the indicator panels that I have, for instance, the uh, the relative strength line that I've got up at the top of this screen, uh, it's also gonna tell you those indicator values. So depending on where you are, you're gonna get different things out of that inspect tool. This is a fantastic way to highlight support and resistance tools to track different things across the chart. As you can see, I can also get more price information uh, about any specific bar on this chart simply by hovering over that bar or out over that candle. Uh, this works for daily charts, it works 
works for weekly charts. It works for intraday charts, any chart type that you have, any chart period that you have, the inspect tool is going to give you a lot more information. Now, I love highlighting this in particular because this is going to show you, for instance, on a daily chart, not just the date that you're hovering over and the horizontal level that you're hovering over, but for that specific candle, it's also going to show you the open, the high, the low, the close, now shows you the percent change on that day as well. So we can actually see that this big red candle right there at the top here for ISRG, that was a uh, minus 1.47% move, a 1.47% uh, decline on the day. Also going to show you volume. And then, of course, it'll show you where you are hovering over uh, for that horizontal position as well. So there's a ton of data packed into this tool. You get that little hover info box. Uh, you've got those horizontal and vertical crosshairs with the additional info on the left uh, in the, uh, on the, the right side of the chart and at the, uh, the bottom of the chart as well. And again, I love to use this to, uh, to pinpoint support and resistance levels. Uh, for me, as a trader who primarily looks for breakouts, this is a great way to draw those horizontal lines across those charts, see exactly where we're tracking. Look at that. Well, look at those two candles line up there. We've got our peak, and then we, uh, we came back to, uh, to bounce off it. We almost came back to bounce off it again. You can see those things really, really clearly by using the inspect tool. Uh, for something like uh, like the consolidation phase that we've been going through here with ISRG, you can see that we've been testing that kind of uh, you know low 400s level. That's the kind of thing that you can do with this inspect tool on the fly. It gives you access to that support and resistance line, uh, which I think is absolutely crucial for us as uh, as traders and as investors. So as it is kind of out of the box, you get a lot with this tool. It gives you a ton of data. It gives you a bunch of features. But the hidden gem, the real power of this tool is actually its interactive features. Again, we've alluded to this a little bit. You can click and drag in multiple directions to actually get even more value out of the inspect tool. So for instance, we can click and drag horizontally to count a certain number of bars on this chart. If you look over there on the left side of the chart, we've got a little floating widget that says 120 periods. So I can tell, well, if I drag it out actually to 121, we can tell that it took us 121 days, in this case as a daily chart, each one is gonna represent one day. It took us 121 periods or 121 days to break out to new highs here for ISRG. You can measure bar counts very, very, very easily uh, on this chart uh, using that inspect tool. The other thing that we can do though is click and drag in either direction up or down to measure percent change. So we can see, for instance, that this was about a 28.93% drawdown there uh, from, uh, from peak to trough uh, for ISRG. That was also a move lower of about 103 points, a little bit over 103 points there for ISRG. So I can measure down simply by clicking and dragging. I'll get that percent change information and that absolute value information. We can then do the exact opposite. We can measure from the bottom back up to the top. We can see that to break out to those new highs, we had a run of about 40.85% higher or another 103 points back up. Uh, so you can quickly and easily measure different parts of your chart using this tool. This is something I do a ton. For instance, whenever I'm uh, placing a new trade, let's say I bought ISRG right now and I wanna start to set my stops. Well, if I wanna find about an 8% stop, you can see how easy it is to do that. I can simply drag my, uh, my inspect tool down find about an 8% drawdown, and I can set my stop right around that level, depending on the candles that, uh, that are printed. So really, really easy to use this for a whole bunch of different reasons. You can measure you know, the depth of a consolidation, you can find stop levels, maybe price targets if you wanna measure up. There is a ton that you can do with this tool. It really is uh, a lot more powerful than it initially seems. And you can do the exact same thing with different indicator panels on your charts and everything. Uh, so lots and lots of different uses of this tool. The inspect tool is one of those things that I love to show people, love to tell them, hey, turn it on for your workbench, uh, turn it on for your charts, give it a shot, start to play with it for uh, for you know a couple of trading days and see how you feel. Uh, most people come back and say, hey, I absolutely love this thing now. I use it all the time. Thank you so much for showing me those little hidden features of it. So really, really easy to turn this on. And the other great thing is that when you don't want it, let's say you just want to get back to a clean cursor, well, just turn that checkbox off. Now you're back to that clean cursor. You're not being uh, sort of distracted at all by any of that additional information. So you can toggle this thing on very easily, uh, toggle it off very easily as well, on and off either way. 
So now that we've covered the sharp chart side, let's jump over to our other charting workbench. That's gonna be ACP, our advanced charting platform. And we'll take a look at some similar tools over there. All right, everyone, so here we are on an ACP chart, again, of ISRG. Gonna look very, very similar to keep some consistency here. And as you can see, when I move around this chart, no horizontal or vertical lines following my cursor around. Up at the top of the platform, you've got a couple of different settings that you can turn on. We've got full screen, we've got fit to window mode, and the last two are gonna be our crosshairs and our measurement tool. Now here in ACP, we've done things slightly differently. We've actually broken out some of these different features into their own tool. So first and foremost, we can turn on the crosshairs. What that's gonna do is give us that horizontal and that vertical line, as well as the label at the bottom of the chart and the label on the right side of the chart. So if you look over there on the right, you can see that black label that is following my horizontal line across. That'll allow you to, uh, to pinpoint specific price levels on your chart, or once again, for any indicator panels on your chart, it'll let you, let you pinpoint specific indicator values. The vertical line, of course, is gonna follow your date bar, so that'll tell you exactly where you are. Now the crosshair tool here doesn't have that interactive feature built into it. We've actually had some feedback from people that said, you know, I kind of want one or the other at times. So in ACP, we've actually separated them out into their own tools. So by itself, the crosshairs are just gonna give you those horizontal and vertical lines. The little ruler icon is gonna give you the measurement tool. So for instance, if we wanted to measure that same kind of move that we had before from peak to trough, we can do that on this chart by clicking and dragging, uh, or clicking and clicking here in ACP. And you'll see at the very top of the chart, we get that same information. There's our down 103 points, down 28%. And we also get a bar count if we go uh, over uh, you know, horizontally here in ACP. So it works a little bit differently. You're gonna get that little floating uh, info box right up at the top of the chart. You can do this in the opposite direction as well. So if we wanted to measure from the bottom, back up to the top you can see that we can uh, can move that around we can do you know horizontal bar counts we can do uh, uh, vertical move vertical measurements uh, percent changes and, uh, and points and all of that good stuff so same kind of concept as we had uh, with that sharp charts inspect tool the uh, the reason that we've broken these two out is because you kind of get a little bit more flexibility by having them be on their own for instance some of the feedback that we've heard from people is hey i love the measurement aspect but i don't really need the crosshairs well if you like that ability to measure different parts of your chart you can actually turn off the crosshairs leave that measurement tool on and you can see now i can still do those measurements but i don't have that horizontal and vertical line so you get a couple of different options in here in ACP, but you still have the ability to measure those different uh, distances, percent change, point moves, all of that right on your charts. Once again, this, uh, this gives you quick access to the data that you need, the info that you need about any point of the chart really, really easily. One other thing to mention, by the way, is that with the crosshair tool, things work a little bit differently than in, than in sharp charts. Uh, so in sharp charts, you have that little floating info box that kind of follows your cursor around. We had some people who said, hey, it's a little bit distracting to have that on my chart. So here in ACP, the way that things work is that when you hover over a specific bar on the chart with that crosshair turned on, you'll see that the header at the top of the chart, that big gray bar right up at the top that's got the symbol, the sector, the industry, the price data, all of that good stuff, that will actually follow you around. So if we hover over that big red candle that we looked at before, if you remember, that was about a 1.47% decline on that day. And so when I hover my cursor over that candle, you'll see that the information at the very top of the chart now reflects that day that I am hovering over. So it works just a little bit different. You can, uh, you can track that exact same information, the open, the high, the low, the close, the percent change, the volume, all of that uh, for any specific bar on this chart. It's just gonna show up at the very, very top. So as I move my cursor around here, you'll see that that price information up at the top of the chart and the indicator information, all of that stuff, that's actually gonna be following my cursor around when I have these crosshairs turned on. Now, once again, really easy to turn this off. So if you wanna get back to a clean chart with, uh, with no information, no measurement tool, no crosshairs, you can just toggle those things off and you are back uh, to kind of where we started uh, at the very beginning. So easy to turn these things off, uh, easy to turn these things on. You can move in and out. 
So that's our show for today. I want to thank you so much for joining me, for sitting down and looking at uh, truly one of my little power features of those different charting workbenches. I love to show people those hidden gems, especially with that sharp charts inspect tool, the ability to measure different parts on that chart. A little more obvious there in ACP with the, uh, with the measurement tool. Uh, but the ability to measure different parts of your chart, a crucial, crucial feature. I love to use this, again, with that horizontal line. I love to use it for measuring uh, supply or uh, support and resistance levels. Draw those horizontal lines across your chart. It's a great way to see those things on the fly without having to go and annotate the, uh, the entire chart. Also great to be able to measure. So I find specifically for stop setting, this is a fantastic tool. The ability to measure down, find those stop levels that you might want to, uh, to place those stops at, uh, and you're, uh, you're able to build Build trades using this tool. You can also use it for price targets. So if you want to measure up in the opposite direction, it's a great way to measure uh, higher values, different things like that. So hopefully you've seen the uh, the power of those inspect tools, the crosshairs and everything, uh, and you'll go and try it for yourself. I think you'll love it. Spend a couple of trading sessions using this, and I think you'll be hooked on this tool. So once again, thank you so much for joining me here on Stock Charts in Focus. Uh, if you liked this episode, remember we do this every Friday. Best way to follow is subscribe to the channel. Hit that button down below. Make sure you subscribe. Turn that notification bell on as well. And the other key thing, make sure that you're subscribing to Stock Charts to get the most out of all these tools and features that we talk about here on the channel, here on this show. You got to be a Stock Charts member. If you are not currently a Stock Charts member, but you're interested in signing up, you can actually do so right now. Get your free one month trial. And when you go and sign up for the very first time, you can use code CHART on to get 10% off your subscription. So give that a shot. Make sure you're signing up. Make sure you're leveling up your charting and analysis tools that you are using out there in the markets. Stock Charts has some of the best tools in the business. And if you like all of our experts here on the uh, on the Stock Charts TV channel, we're all using those uh, those premium features on the Stock Charts website. So make sure that you're taking advantage of that uh, while you can. So I want to thank you again. We will be back with another episode next Friday. Again, my name is Grayson Rose, author of Trading for Dummies and Director of Operations here at StockCharts.com. It's been wonderful to be with you. I'll see you again soon for another one. But until then, chart on, my friends.